The Kenyan proposal, which involves sending 1,000 police officers to help train and assist an overwhelmed Haitian police force, has sparked intense debate among the Haitian population. Many Haitians remain wary of international interventions, citing past experiences of sexual abuse and devastating cholera outbreak that accompanied foreign forces in past decades, which have left deep scars on the nation's collective memory. In a separate interview conducted by the Observer, an elementary school teacher in Haiti, Florence Casimir, expressed her reservations about the offer, stating that previous international interventions have caused harm to the country. However, she acknowledges that the current brutality of the gangs who kidnapped our students and demand hefty ransoms from parents leaves the heightened people with limited options. The call for international assistance arose after Prime Minister Aria Henry urged the world to deploy an armed force in October to combat the escalating gang violence. However, the United Nations has encountered difficulties in finding a nation willing to lead the effort to restore order in Haiti, largely due to controversies surrounding past peacekeeping missions. Both the United States and the United Nations have faced reluctance to lead the force and the U.S. efforts to persuade Canada were unsuccessful. The situation in Haiti has continued to worsen with a surge in kidnappings and the emergence of vigilante groups attempting to take justice into their own hands. In response to Kenya's offer, the United States plans to propose a resolution to the United Nations Security Council to authorize the deployment of the police force. U.S. Ambassador at the UN, Linda Thomas Greenfield, clarified that this proposed force is not a traditional peacekeeping mission. Nevertheless, the proposal has stayed on ease among Haitians who remain skeptical of international interventions due to past failures and abuses by UN peacekeeping missions. Haiti has a history of foreign interventions dating back to the 1900s, often triggered by political instability. While some missions have been successful in easing chaos and supporting the establishment of the Haitian National Police, in the 1990s, they have also left behind scars from past abuses. A significant example is the UN peacekeeping mission from 2004 to 2017, which faced allegations of mass sexual abuse, including disturbing claims of rape and impregnation of girls as young as 11 by peacekeepers. Investigations conducted by the Associated Press found evidence of high levels of impunity among the peacekeeping forces.